Malta is a country that is situated between the North African coast and Sicily. It consists of five islands, three of which are inhabited. Malta is the main island and Valletta is the capital city. Of the 530,000 people, 480,000 live on the island of Malta. Their food is typically Sicilian because they have a large Sicilian influence. Their language, Arabic, with the Roman alphabet. Goza is the second largest island and approximately 30,000 people live there. 18 licensed wine producers in all of Malta. 14 in Malta and 5 in Goza. Sicily is at the toe of Italy. It is an island just north of Malta, and it has two active volcanoes. Tarmina is just north, and you could also see the other volcano. Pastries are a delicacy in all of Sicily. The crown jewel of all pastries in Italy is the cannolo, a Sicilian staple. An airfield belonging to British pilots. In fact, over there you can see some huts. Can you see the rusty huts? Yeah. Those are still original huts. They would be referred to as Nissen huts. Yeah. There's a good film about Malta's role in World War II. It's called The Malta Story. It's available on Netflix, IPTV, whatever. Okay. And uh, it's called The Malta Story. The Malta Story, yes. It was filmed in the immediate years after the war, so a lot of sites were still damaged in the original way how they were bombed and whatever. Okay. What's the purpose of all the rock walls? Okay, a good question. So, in the fields, you can see rubble walls made out of stone. Those rubble walls, they were built by farmers to clear the land so that they could work the land because the land was full of stones. That's why they built rubble walls. The good news about the walls is that in World War II, they saved the island from an invasion because the, Brit the German pilots could not find a large flat area with no rubble walls in the middle. I'm referring for an invasion by air. You can see rubble walls again behind the trees. So, in relation to the temples, the prehistoric temples, dating back to 3600 BC, start having a look at a white tent. Can you see a white tent? Yeah. That's covering one of those temples, okay? And we're going to see it now from the outside before we go to Rubino. Okay. Okay. And that was the night you were talking about? No, no, that's 3600 BC. Oh, BC, okay. That's the prehistoric temple. Can you see the tent, the white tent at a distance? Can you see it? 
Oh yeah, okay. That's 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 like similar to Stonehenge. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's not the Older. That's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. <laughs> Dating back to 300, 3600 BC.